Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will see how we can use box and viscous graph in Power BI. Box and viscous graph is a visual that is perfect for showing the spread of distribution of your data, highlighting key statistics like median, quartiles, and outliers. Now let's get started. First, we will connect our data. So I have this Excel sheet available where I have the data of students according to the subject, the score, gender, class, and exam type. So first, let's connect this to our power bi i will go to excel workbook and here this is my excel sheet i will connect it i will select the sheet and i will load the data Now you see the data has been uploaded. Now we will go and add the visual. So this is the, actually we will be using a custom which visual. So I'll go here, I'll click on get more visuals. And here I will select, I will find box and. So we will be using this one. I'll select this. And I will add it. The visual was successfully imported. Okay. Now I'll go here and I'll use my visual. Now here, let's start to populate this. In the axis, I will bring exam type. In the access category one, we will bring subject. Subject. In access category two, we will bring gender. And in the values, we will bring score. Now you see how this is appearing. Let me just make it bigger. Now we can see it by the exam type, the subject, by gender, and the scores. If I go here, so the mean for English in female is 130. Here are some outliers. So here in the female English midterm sum of score is 81. Now let's go and see how we can modify it a bit further. Let's go and format your visual. You can see that we have options here in the orientation if you want vertical or horizontal let's keep it vertical you can do the sorting box options how you want it you can change the color you can make it different the box transparency and all in the mean it's on how you want it you want it in circle you can change the color also here the y-axis and x-axis you can change these if you want the title or if you don't you will keep it similarly for the y-axis and axis categories split labels and how you want it in the background you can set up the background color in the formatting you can use this tick marks, grid lines, and dots. So you can change the colors, how you want the radius, how you want the hover color, and all these. In the general, you can ch change the general properties. I will just remove the title. So this is how you can easily create a box and viscous graph. Normally, it is used. You can use it for student text scores. You can use this, use it in healthcare to monitor patients. You can use it in comparing sales across regions or performance variation in teams. 
you will need a category field which can be subject or regions numerical field like scores or sales or any series field for grouping like gender or product type and uh, it can help you uncover key trends and highlights in your data and you can see here the box represents the interquartile range the line is the median here and the dot represents the outliers and these whiskers here are the ma maximum and minimum so just tips for better insights uh, use filters you can use filters here to focus better on the groups or categories and avoid overloading the data or the chart for any of your visuals including this one i hope this video helped you and keep watching for more don't forget to subscribe thank you